Both Nvidia Shield TV devices are two of the very first wave of Android TV set-top boxes to officially get Android Pie support. But what's new? Let's have a look. Okay, so first and foremost, if you were hoping for a massive update, I'm sorry to disappoint, but this isn't going to be that. Android Pie on the Nvidia Shield TV is more of a refining of the platform, but there are some nice new tweaks that do make the whole experience just a little bit nicer. For starters, animations and speed feel a lot more fluid and improved than they have done in the past. Scrolling and clicking through menus just feels a little bit faster than it did before, and it is a nice improvement overall. The biggest alterations are clearly under the hood, but the settings menu UI has had a slight rejig too. You're able to get certain features a lot quicker as a result. Within the Shield settings, you can add a disconnect Bluetooth accessories quick toggle for faster removal of gamepads and other connected devices. You can even control if USB ports turn off when you put your Shield to sleep. This is especially helpful if you have an external drive or other device powered by the device plugged in. If you do happen to have a HDR capable TV set, you can now toggle the new match content color space option to help improve your overall viewing experience. This automatically adjusts the display color for more accurate and pleasing video and game content on platforms that support it. Netflix now includes support for Dolby Digital Plus 5.1 surround sound at up to 640 kilobits per second. If you have a capable sound system, that's going to make a heck of a lot of difference. And there's also news that Hulu Plus Live TV is coming to those soon in the US. Unfortunately, I'm not able to try that here in the UK though. One thing I've noticed since installing the update though is the improvement of assistant voice searches for Amazon Prime Instant Video Shows in particular. This may not be a massive thing to you, but if you do have an Amazon Prime Instant Video account, it might make all the difference. Also, if you are a GeForce Now beta subscriber, you can enjoy 20 plus new games alongside the original library of titles. There's also room for a new Android Pie style volume slider, which mimics that found on mobile phones. So all in all, it's a solid update that makes just a few tweaks in the right areas, hence the ultra short video. If you happen to find anything new or interesting, be sure to let us know in the comment section below too. We'd love to know if you found anything that we haven't been able to dig out at this point. Also remember to subscribe to see all of our upcoming video content, but until next time, thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.